Keto is and how it allows us to write good unit tests by allowing us to isolate the dependent classes and test our uh, Java class under test to completion. From this video, we'll see Makito hands-on. We'll see some Makito testing in action. And by the end of it, you will know how to use Makito in your projects to write good unit tests. Let's get started by looking at the Java Maven project here. In this Maven Eclipse project, I have two important classes which both have interfaces, always code to interfaces. Order BO Impel is the first class. BO stands for business object, which typically or usually holds the business logic. And the business logic class usually calls into a data access layer class. In my case, it's the order DAO data access object, which once again has an interface associated with it. It has one method called process order and it returns a Boolean value true. In real-time applications, this method would have a lot of database code using JPA or JDBC or etc, Hibernate etc. But here I'm simply returning for the purpose of this test, I'm simply returning true. So to test our BO, BO's place order method, I don't want to call into the real DAO because it usually calls into or uses the data access database um, logic which I don't want to do. I want to mock it out in my test when I test the place order method. Let's start testing the order BO impel. Tests go. Hit finish. Let Eclipse do some work for us. It's going to generate the basic skeleton for our test class. Here, let's change the name to test. The method that we want to test in the BO is the place order method. So I'll just take that, go back to the test. Test place order returns true. Very simple test case since the purpose here is to show how to use Makito, not how to write great unit tests. In the test, I'll create the instance of our order bo impel the class that we want to test bo is equal to new order bo as you can see the dao is declared globally in the bo and then we have the getter and setter methods using which we have to set the dao so that we can use it inside the place order method otherwise we'll get a null pointer exception bo dot set DAO. This is where mocking begins. I'm not going to create a new DAO here. I'm going to mock it out using the Mockitos at mock annotation. Order BO. I'm going to use the interface of the DAO. Sorry. It's order DAO. I'm going to mark this simply by using the at mock annotation from Makito. Let's import these two. And then let me import the DAO. Yep, they're all good. Now let's call the BO dot place order so it's that simple to mock out an object using Makito API you simply use the at mock annotations but for this to work since we are using the annotations we'll have to do one more step which is initializing all the mocks we tell the Makito to initialize all the mocked objects and to do that, we'll use the J units at before annotation. And create a init mocks method. You can name this method whatever you want, but usually it's a good practice to have meaningful names. Public void init mocks. That's the method name. One time when I run this class, this class instance is being passed to this init mocks. 
so makito will inject all the mocked out objects it will mock these objects which are marked with at mock annotation at runtime when we call this so this is mandatory otherwise we'll get null pointer exception if we try to use the mocked objects without doing this let me import that before annotation from junit now if i run if i let me do an assert on the place order we are expecting this to return a true so let me use the static methods in the junit api to see if this method returns true you can try to guess in the meantime if it returns true or will if our test passes if i run this test right now with this assert statement save it run the test and as j unit go to the j unit tab here still running so as it runs let me summarize what we have done so far we have marked the at the dao with the at mock annotation so that it will be mocked by makito and then we have injected the dao into our bo class which uses it now we are calling the bo's place order method and we are asserting that it will return a true expecting the do to return a true and then our place order will return a true as you can see our test fails because we have mocked out the do but we have not configured the do to do what it is supposed to do so in real time applications since it goes against the database we'll be mocking out everything there but here even here i'll have to configure or tell makito what this mocked out object should do when its methods are called so i'm going to say makito all the methods on makito are static so makito dot makito is the class name when dao dot process order so i'm telling makito when dao's process order is called then it's very close to plain english return true so i hope you are getting it we are simply telling makito to mock out the method call on the mocked dao object and we are returning true so when our bo's place order method is called if you look at the bo as the test runs let me show you what we need to use makito and junit in a maven project typically you will include the junit jar dependency like this or the project dependency then the makito all dependency like here so as you can see the test passes now there are several other static very useful static methods provided by the makito api another one i would like to show you before i wrap this up is verify if you want to verify that really your mocked out uh, method objects or the next layer class objects are getting called you can say makito dot very order method is called internally it should call the dos process order so on the mocked objects so makito will know about it and it will tell us and we use the verify method if that's true here you can also pass in the number of times that method should be called by default it's one so the second parameter to the verify method is the number of times which i am not going to use because we are calling this method only once in our bo class so let me run it again There are a lot more static methods in the Makito API, which I'll be exploring in the next few videos. You can even ask it to return what objects, other types in Java, etc. There you go. It's all green. So our method got called. The DAO's process order method got called once. And there are also you can specify the type of objects, etc., which I'll show you in the next few videos. To quickly summarize, to write a Makito 
or to use Makito in your JUnit tests, you can use the at mock annotations. And before you start using or running your tests, you should initialize all the mocked out steps or tell Makito to initialize all the annotated mocks by using the Makito annotations dot init mocks. You typically do it in the at before method of your JUnit. And when and verify are the most used Makito methods. When allows you to mock out the method calls on your mocked objects and verify allows you to verify if the methods on the mocked objects are getting called. And you can use asserts from the JUnit API as you always use them to make sure your interface or your classes are expecting as expected. In the next few videos,